focusing. Good morning, everyone. I'm here with Otis, and we're going to um, give him the snip. And I feel a little bit mixed about it. I'm very sad for him. I know it needs to be done, but the thought of putting him through an operation, I don't like it. So there we are. I haven't fed him this morning. So he's not been allowed to eat since eight o'clock last night, but I normally feed them at like five anyway. Hello. I normally feed them at like five anyway. He's probably wondering where on earth is breakfast. So yeah. we're just having a little, little tiny walk just so they can all go to the loo. Cause he's got to, that was in his pre-op information that they sent over. He's got to have gone to the loo and not have eaten for ages. So it's responsible to get your dog neutered. Um, unless you want to have them as a stud dog. And I did, I did, I really considered it because he's such a beautiful dog and it's one of my biggest regrets with baby Dill is that I chopped his off at the earliest possible opportunity, the poor boy, um, because I wanted him to be my little baby. But then recently I've had a few people approach me with either Jack Russells or Jackawawa bitches asking me if he's entire. <laughs> I love little baby, baby, baby dills. Um, so I do regret that a little bit. Just a um, quick tip guys. If you're in a rush and you need to get your dog to the vet, don't let it out with another dog for a walk because it will run off. I can't find them anywhere. It's not, I mean, we're gonna throw shade at Crunchy because it's her fault. She is so bad for running off. Otis wouldn't, oh, 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 oh. Speak of the devil, Crunchy, I was just about to say you had very bad parenting. Come on! There we go, we need to go, Papa, don't jump up at me. That's good going, we've got one, two, three, can you see? Little deal. <laughs> Come on, baby. Quick, quick, quick. Let's get going before we lose any more. It's ridiculous, don't have six animals. Just don't do it, it's not cool. Now, shockingly, the uh, two minutes that I allowed myself to drive to the vets wasn't quite enough. I have got little Otis a treat for when he comes out. I'm gonna give him some donuts, doggy donuts. Got these from the local farm shop. They're by a company called The Barking Bakery. I am a bit ill today, guys. Got a bit of a cough, a bit of a cold. Obviously, we're still living with bloody COVID restrictions. So we're waiting in the car and the vet will come and get him. Yeah. Poor little baby. Are you a good boy? I'm nervous. A few moments later. Well, that's it. He's been dropped off at the vets. They took him in and whilst we were going in, sorry, I'm fiddling because I'm nervous. I'm anxious because he's, I just don't like them being at the vets. It's not nice, is it? Um, yeah, what was I saying? We, I was, the vet came to get him out the car and then another lady walked in with a golden retriever and they were like wagging tails at each other and her dog was getting castrated as well. So at least they're, they're gonna be friends together and they'll hold their, hold their paws whilst they get through it. I just, I wasn't like this with Dylan. I think cause he's so small and he, but Otis, it feels like he's like, I don't know how to describe it. It just feels more significant because he's such a big dog. I just feel really sad for him. And just thinking about him now, go, I'm being very dramatic, but it is raining and that does affect my mood. Um, just thinking about him now going in thinking, where's my mum? Because he's been into the vets before, but only to be like weighed for his flea treatment. Um, yeah, and I don't know. It's annoying that you can't go in because you don't know I suppose it's not going to change anything, but it would be nice to know what sort of hotel room he's going to have for the day. I can't do anything about it now. It's it's done. It's well, it's not quite done. They said they'll give me a ring at one o'clock when he's out of surgery, and then I should be able to pick him up at four. So it's going to be a long day. Well, what a sad, sad day. I'm back home, and the house just feels eerily quiet without him he doesn't really make that much noise but he's always like following me around and just wants to be 
with me. The other two are just lying in bed. And it's as if they know that he's gone somewhere. Well, they obviously know that he's not here. But there's a very mellow attitude in the house. My attitude, very mellow atmosphere. I've just had a phone call. It's only 12 o'clock. Well, actually, no, it's not even time check. It's uh, 20 to 12. And I've just had a phone call from the vet saying he's all recovered. They've done the operation. He's come back round and he's getting lots of attention. They just want to monitor him for the next couple of hours. But I could pick him up at half past two. So I'm, I can't tell you the relief that I'm feeling. And another thing, that when I'm anxious about something, I'm the most productive person on the planet. Like, the amount I've done today, I've done loads of work, and bearing in mind we're not even at 12 o'clock yet, done loads of work, looked after three horses and the two remaining dogs, um, and I have, like, Jay's fluided the whole yard, because it was just looking a bit like bluck after winter. And also... I think because I've not been riding that much recently because Mr Jones and Billy are on holiday and McAllis has been off work with this mud fever which he is on antibiotics for, he's got another couple of days left and then we'll see how he is um, and you would have thought because I've not been riding as much I'd have had a chance to get the yard sorted but I haven't, I've done even less than usual and everything was just a bloody mess so no more, no more, I've sorted that out Okay, it's nearly time, so I'm going to take Crunchy back to her house, get Otis, and tell me why. Let me find some good lighting to show you. There is none in this house. Shock horror. Um, tell me why I retouched my hair and my makeup to go and pick my dog up from the vets. Making a special effort for the boy. But I feel... I haven't curled my... The light, I can't with the light. I haven't used the curly bit on my Dyson for probably about a year, but I really like it. And obviously last time I did it was when I had my really long hair and my layers, and now my hair's like all one length apart from these front pieces, which I'm actually not sure what I'm gonna do with it. Am I gonna grow them out? Am I gonna cut them shorter? Don't know, don't know. Um, yeah, welcome to my dog castration video. We're just going to talk about my hair and my makeup. It's a problem. Any situation, I will find a way to make it about myself. Youngest child. What can you do? What can you do? Let's go. <laughs> Hello, baby. I'm just going to get him home because he seems very sad and just tired. So I won't mess around for too long. He's just crying to himself in the back of the car. It's the saddest thing. But... I've got a goodie bag from the vet. He's booked in for his follow-up appointment on Monday. I've got painkillers. I've got some like bland food for him. Something else. Can't remember what else. Um. And his treats. Poor little boy. Poor little boy. Are you okay, baby? Apparently, I'm not to let him jump or run for about a week. I'll try, I will try, but he doesn't jump too much anyway. He's not a show jumper, don't be stupid. He's a dressage pony. Oh, you poor boy. So I'm gonna have to watch this baby grow already. We've just come in from the car and I thought, oh, I'll undo the poppers so that he can go for a wee. And I tucked it all up on the side, but I left this bit down. And obviously he's a boy, he's weed all over it. I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on him for a few hours whilst I wash and dry it. What should we do? Should we go and watch some Netflix? Yeah? Oh, baby. You chew my well. Ah, no, 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 no. <gasps> would you like? Oh, you would like. Should we, do you want me to help you break it off? Yep, yeah, okay. This is making such a mess, but what the hell? The boy is sad, he needs a donut. Another thing, I took him to the vets maybe a week, 10 days ago, and he was 22 kilograms. They weighed him this morning, he's 23 and a half. Someone please make it stop. He's gonna be so big. Dylan? 
I should think so. Poor Otis has been through enough today without you shouting at him. Okay. We have some relaxing dog music on YouTube in the background. I just have to stay with him until his baby grow has been washed because he's got easy access to the, uh, to the area. Oh, and I gave him another donut on my bed. Um, and now my bed is absolutely disgustingly filthy. But we love you, so it's okay. You're just a poor little boy. <laughs> Jealous one in the background. to him I can't believe how well he's doing um I couldn't sit up there listening to dog music much longer so I'm gonna make a cup of tea who would have thought it his little baby grow is nearly finished in the washing machine and then I'll dry it and put it back on and then I won't have to keep such a close eye on him just that'd be <laughs> awful if he was like out of surgery for a few hours and then had to go back in because he's ripped his stitches out so we'll avoid we'll avoid doing that my voice I think my voice is gonna go, just pre-warning. I don't think I'll be able to speak tomorrow. The vet said just for the next week, um, not to let him off the lead and just to limit his exercise and how much he jumps up and down. And I think I am gonna struggle to do that. I'll obviously, obviously I will try my best. Um, but it just means that I'm gonna actually have to take my dogs for walks, which I don't do. I think if you've got horses and they just come to the yard with you and they can run around the paddocks, you're not used to taking them for a walk as well, but I'm gonna have to just pull my finger out and get in the habit of taking him for a walk on a lead. <sighs> Poor little boy. I think he used to wear his baby grow for a few days, she said. She was like, three or four days and then he'll be fine. The stitches will dissolve. So we've just got, just got to keep an eye on the area. I'm not sure yet whether I'm gonna end the video tonight or whether I'll film for the next few days. I'll probably try and film for the next few days so we can see his healing process are you sleepy boys are you sleepy boys our little boy has actually coped a lot, lot better than I was expecting him to. I mean, you wouldn't really know there was much different with him. For the first couple of hours, he was a little bit unsettled, but since then, since then, since then, he's been absolutely fine. He is getting a little bit warm in this onesie, but the heating will go off soon. So I think he'll be okay. He's got plenty of water. Um, just obviously it's important that he wears it overnight because if I'm fast asleep and he's chewing his stitches out it's not a good look it's not a good look um, I'm gonna go goodbye and good night is that better? hello everyone it's uh, four, four or five days post op so on Monday night, Otis went to the vets this evening for a checkup to look at the boys' stitches and it's all it's all healing really well. They're very, very happy with it. And it was so cute. We got to the vets and I thought, he's not gonna be happy about this, he's not gonna want to go back in. But he started wagging his tail, and as soon as he saw it, it was the same nurse that we had on Thursday. We we went through it together. It was the same nurse, and he was so pleased to see her, and I think you just know that he's had good care with them. I mean, he certainly wasn't worried to go back. As worried as I was about the whole thing, it was such an easy process, and I really shouldn't have been so dramatic, but classic me, classic me. I brought him home, and for about the first hour, he was quite clearly uncomfortable, or he was aware of the area where his, um, had been removed. Um, but after that, honestly, he's not really paid any attention to it at all. We had that baby grow, 
and I did keep that on him pretty much for the first day. He certainly slept in it, which I think you saw this anyway. He wore the baby grow if I couldn't keep my eye on him, um, and at night. But he didn't wear it at all yesterday, or today. He was on, I think it's Loxicon medicine for three days and that's just it's an anti-inflammatory and a painkiller just to help with the swelling and obviously the discomfort but he's <laughs> hello he's not been on that today um and as you can see he's very happy very comfortable not in any pain um so yes it was a very very easy process and yeah i don't know why i was so bothered about it because really shouldn't have been. So I think that's all, all to report. Very easy. He's not been bothered about it at all. And the healing has been really straightforward. Oh, 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 one thing that I've not been very good at, and I don't know if this is because I'm a horsey girl, but when they said I've got to restrict his exercise, I have been to a point, and in my head when they said it, I was like, yes, yes I'll keep him on a lead and yes I won't let him out the house but I just felt so sad for him so his exercise has been restricted in that I've not let him run off for hours and hours but he's still been going out and doing a good amount of exercise you know you can justify almost anything but I just thought that you're pulling my hair out but I just thought that if he was tired and you know had had a good run he'd be more likely just to sleep in his bed or in my bed and he wouldn't be fiddling with his stitches. That was my thought. That has actually worked. Um, the vet said they want to see him again in a week's time just to make sure that it's absolutely healed. So we ought to go to that appointment. But touch wood, I can't imagine we're gonna have any problems whatsoever, are we boy? So um, yeah, if you want to get your dog neutered, Go ahead, it's easy peasy. <laughs> I am disgusting, I know.